Hello, hello, everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back again. Man United can kill two birds with one stone if Mason Greenwood makes return. Manchester United could be tempted to sanction Mason Greenwood's return amid Eric Ten Hag's struggles. Mason Greenwood's future will be among the topics under the microscope as Manchester United approach the club's first summer transfer window under a new football operation. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos have a big decision to make amid his eye-catching exploits at Hethoff. Greenwood moved to La Liga on deadline day after former chief executive Richard Arnold performed a U-turn on his reintegration into Eric Ten Hag's squad. Arnold had reportedly told staff that he planned to sanction Greenwood's return before internal and external backlash sparked a change of heart. But recent changes to the sporting side of the club's hierarchy have opened the doorway to a potential new approach next season. Greenwood is under contract at Old Trafford until the summer of 2025, so next summer could present United's final chance. To generate a transfer fee for the academy graduate. But Ratcliffe and Ineos could decide to allow the 22-year-old forward to remain at the club once his season-long loan at Hetofe is over. In doing so, United would be killing two birds with one stone in terms of problem positions that their new investor must help Ten Hag address. Ten Hag has faced serious issues with his attack throughout a disastrous second season in charge. Scott McTominay is United's joint top goal scorer with six goals alongside Rasmus Hodgland, who has netted just once in the Premier League. No other player has registered more than five goals in all competitions this term, and the Red Devils measly 22 goals in 20 Premier League games only better Burnley and Sheffield United Stalys. Anthony has failed to provide a single goal or assist in 21 appearances this term, and Ahmad Diallo, returning from a long-term injury, could be his only competition in the coming months. Jaden Sancho and Facundo Polistri are expected to live on loan before the January transfer deadline. Greenwood has impressed on the right for Hetofe and often operated in the position under Old Gunnar Soskja at Old Trafford. Meanwhile, 20-year-old Hodgland has struggled at the start of his United career, and his competition, Anthony Marshall, has scored just twice in 19 games. Both the striker and right-wing positions are there for the taking ahead of the summer transfer window. Greenwood could be handed the opportunity to stake a claim for both. A permanent exit at the end of the campaign remains the most likely outcome. However, speculation won't dissolve until Ratcliffe and Ineos plan becomes clear. Frankie De Jong makes Man United admission after being left very upset by transfer saga. Barcelona midfielder Frankie De Jong was heavily linked with a transfer to Manchester United last summer, and he seemingly left the door open for a future Premier League switch. Long-term Manchester United target Frankie De Jong has refused to rule out a future transfer to the Premier League. The Barcelona playmaker, 26, was heavily linked with United last summer after being identified as a primary transfer target by Eric Ten Hag. A deal worth £70 million including add-ons was even agreed between United and the Spanish Giants, but De Jong had no appetite in pursuing such a move. Fast forward 18 months that De Jong is still at Barcelona and enjoying life under Xavi Hernandez. But his latest comments could reignite the transfer saga which dominated the narrative at Old Trafford for the majority of last summer. In an interview with Dutch outlet Nos, De Jong said that I am at the club where I always wanted. To be where I dreamed of Barcelona. When he was then asked if experiencing a new league held any appeal, he added, possibly. But I'm very satisfied at Barca. It's always difficult to say. For now I feel good here. While De Jong has seemingly left the door open for a future switch to Old Trafford, it emerged back in October that the Netherlands international had been left very upset with how the Barcelona hierarchy handled last summer's saga. According to Sport, the midfield maestro was far from impressed with Barcelona's attempts to offload him after making it clear he wanted to stay. The report went on to outline how the situation had a detrimental impact on the Jong's relationship with the new camp hierarchy. However, the time has enabled the relationship between player and board to be repaired. Ten Hag has made no secret of his admiration for the Jong, who he coached for 18 months while they were both at Ajax. Speaking back in February ahead of Manchester United's meeting with Barcelona in the Europa League, he said in 2019 that there was a lot of fascination with that Ajax team. Frankie brought a lot of that fascination and he has developed over the following years in Spain. 
He's a fantastic player and has become even better. Playing out from the back, he always has time. It was a pleasure working with him. He would strengthen any squad in the world. He's got unique quality. Man United scouting fullback Gutierrez, a Man United are looking to use the January market to strengthen at fullback, with the club sending a scout to closely observe Gerona's Miguel Gutierrez on multiple occasions in recent few weeks, according to the Sun left back Sergio Regailan returned to Tottenham this week after United exercised a break clause in the defender's loan deal. Regailan joined United on deadline day in the summer, primarily to cover for injuries to Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia. Shaw has since returned and Malaysia is due back this month. United have reportedly been tracking Gutierrez and watched him in the 4-3 thriller with Atletico Madrid on Wednesday. The 22-year-old has started 18 La Liga games this term and helped Girona form an unlikely title tilt, with the club at second in La Liga, level on points with league leaders Real Madrid. The Spaniard is a product of the Los Blancos Academy and joined Girona in the summer of 2022, while AC Milan and Borussia Dortmund are also reportedly tracking him and else Man United to fight Premier League rivals for Casemiro replacement and avoid repeating Moises Caicedo transfer mistake, Manchester United are ready for a dogfight with Premier League rivals over the new Moises Caicedo. Oscar Zambrono, 19, who has been lighting up the Ecuadorian league for his club LDU Quito. And United reportedly see the teenager as a replacement for aging Brazilian Casemiro. However, the Red Devils face a battle against two other top-flight sides for Zambrono's coveted signature. Elfak Bilero claims Brighton are interested in doing a deal this winter. But it's ambitious Luton Town who have already made a bid after tracking him for several months. They are desperate to fast-track a move before United and Brighton strike. Yet Zambrono's club LDU Quito are aware of interest from elsewhere and are willing to wait for more offers to flood in. United have been monitoring the youngster in recent weeks with club chiefs determined to avoid a repeat of their 2021 fiasco with now Chelsea star Caicedo. The Red Devils backed out of a deal to sign him from independent Del Valle for just £4.5 million with Brighton swooping in to pick up the pieces. Caicedo quickly became an integral part of Graham Potter and Roberto Dazabi's side. And 18 months later he became the most expensive midfielder in history with a £115 million move to Stamford Bridge. United are also hoping to land a striker this month with a loan deal the most likely outcome. RB Leipzig's Timo Werner is on Eric Ten Hag's radar. But it's Bayern Munich veteran and ex-stock flop Eric Maxim Chupomoting who is in pole position for Old Trafford.